Sarah. Sorry, I was yelling. <laughs> I'm going to do an unboxing. I got this, you know, it's Mindful Souls. It's a subscription box that you, can get, you get once a month. And I guess in my Facebook scroll, like, you know, as you're scrolling through, I must click on a lot of stuff that has to do with this stuff because it just kept popping up and popping up. And so I finally ordered it. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, my Serenity Crafts means more to me now than it, than it did at the time I named it because I didn't realize how it is my Serenity. This craft room and what I do in here, it takes you away from all of the whatever's going on outside of this space goes away. And... Um, so I've been a little bit more in a spiritual mode these days. I'm definitely, um, I've been still doing my Al-Anon readings. Al-Anon is so awesome, you guys. I love it so much. Uh, maybe I'll give you guys uh, a little peek at my altar. I made a little, it's not an altar, but it's my little space that I do my readings and all that stuff. Anyway, so I want to see what's in here with you guys. All right, let's see. This is exciting. Usually you get about uh, seven or eight. I think this was $36, I want to say. I'm not positive. And it says, Welcome to Mindful Souls Community. Our goal is to help people begin or enhance their spiritual practice as well as gain spiritual peace and fulfillment. We hope you really enjoy your first mindful box. The little things, the little moments, they aren't little. And, ooh, and then, oh, I don't really want to look because I want to be surprised. <laughs> but I guess this is everything that's in, in here. OMG, I'm excited. Because I've seen some of them um, on, like, other people do unboxings, you know. This is an affirmation card for creativity. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me. Love that. Hopefully they'll give me one um, a box and I can have little affirmation cards. That'll be cool. <gasps> this is a sticker. I'm going to put these on my, uh, my laptop. Just the little Mindful Souls emblem. It's super cute because I've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, this type of stuff. Look, my hand's a hand. I just burned this one, but I like that little eye symbol. I, I look on... Um, Pinterest a lot and I see that the eye with like the lotus leaves. I mean this kind of looks like not lotus leaves. Yeah, the lotus petals. This kind of looks like feathers. So pretty. All right. So I got a little dream catcher. A dream catcher keychain. This is gorge. And if you notice, orange, I'm starting to really get into orange these days. So I put this little piece of fabric down um, to, I don't know, it, and I've been reading my chakra book, uh, learning about the chakra. So this is kind of like made of suede, and it has wooden beads and feathers and a metal charm. That's adorable. I love it. And I have dream catchers in my room. Um above my bed. Maybe I'll give you a shot of that too. So these are cute. This is like a nice little um, burlap sack almost, right? Drawstring sack, but it has the sticker, the decal on it. Very cute. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, this is the lotus. It's a lotus pendant. So that's adorable on a little leatherette, I would say chain and I might just use this on a different chain because I have a crystal just a clear quartz crystal I've been wearing just cleansing it's cleansing that's all I don't really know this looks like a fragrance Ooh, rosemary I love rosemary I do let me smell it I have some um some essential oils that I got from Eden's garden and I put them in my um I have some on here actually I put Calm on here yesterday, and it still really smells. This is How Light, and it's supposed to be for patients. But this is Rosemary. Add two to three squirts to, um, yeah, so let me just have take a whiff. I want to smell it. Very, oh, super clean smelling. Mm, I like it. 
and this I guess is their own brand I'm not sure it doesn't really have a name brand on it RHJY I don't know what that stands for Let's see what's in here it says all the stuff on the back of the card, so I could always look and see if it gives. <gasps> Ooh, a big piece. This seems like it's rose quartz. Rose quartz is the love stone. This is like a point. And when I when I do my exercises for my um, just stretching and all that stuff, I like to throw in a little chakra yoga, some yoga moves. My nails are atrocious. Sorry, I made this with these nails, but. They're just, I need to do something. I need to take a, um, I like this. I need to take a supplement or get some collagen injections. I don't know. I like that rose quartz. A little Buddha. This can go in my little um, area. Isn't he cute? I think it's a Buddha. Well, let me see what it's called. It says Serenity Buddha figurine. So let's see if I've been... This is Rose Quartz Pointer Crystal, a dream catcher, and Rosemary Essential Oil. Considered sacred, rosemary is one of the most powerful herbs and essential oils on the planet. Native to the Mediterranean, the wooded evergreen has been used in folk medicine for thousands of years to improve memory, soothe digestive issues, and relieve muscle aches and pains. It is also known for its anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties. OMG, because you know what? My cousin Fran, she was just diagnosed with breast cancer. So, But she has the best one you can get. It's ductile and it's non-invasive. And so I think she'll be okay. But maybe I'll make her a little care package of this stuff. Um, yeah, and then the lotus flower necklace. To blossom in the sun, the lotus flower must first grow through muck and mud, a phenomenon that may serve as a moving metaphor for our own spiritual path. Prized for its purity, the lotus lives in muddy water, yet is untouchably wholesome and clean. I know. I love that. That's why I love the lotus, too. The lotus um, image. That's why I put that on my eyes when I do my chakra stuff. See? Like this. I like putting that because part of my journey is I come from some dysfunction and some insanity and you know um, see like one I have these bracelets these are just Amazonite or something but there's a tree of life oh that's an ohm and a feather like all of this symbolism to me it's just all good stuff my spiritual journey isn't really very religious at the moment I'm not really I have a, um, a higher power of my own design. See, I have a little lotus on this one. So anyway, um, and I think it's to each his own, but this is rose quartz. Rose quartz is the stone of the heart, a crystal of unconditional love and infinite peace. It is the most important crystal for the heart and heart chakra, teaching the true essence of love. It purifies and opens the heart at all levels and brings deep inner healing and self-love. That's what I'm working on, self-love. Being, knowing that I am deserving of everything, of, of anything and everything. And I'm not any, um, I'm not special, I just am. Um, it purifies and opens the heart to all at all levels and brings deep inner healing and self-love. It is calming, reassuring, and excellent for use in trauma or crisis. Rose crystal, rose quartz, gently draws off negative energy and replaces it with loving vibes. Carry it with you. Meditate with it. Lay with it on your body or place it in your space. This is really pretty. I love all the um, the like in the broken parts I'm trying to say what the word is for it but I like that that is pretty all right yeah the thing about these boxes too is you don't get to pick your stones so that was something that I I wasn't really sure if I would like but I mean there's not that much there are not that many stones in here I think I'm done let me close the box I think that's everything I'll double check this is going to be the bracelet right yeah, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six things for $36 and a sticker and an affirmation card. Um, so I'm pretty happy. 
I think that's um, ooh, and look there's a little elephant so this is very this looks like how light this was actually free okay let's see what it says this is white turquoise and lava stones because this now let's see this is the thing about stones that I don't because it looks very similar this is supposedly how light and um, lava stones because I can put, I think I'm going to put the rosemary on here. But I got it because it matched my watch. And how light supposedly is for patience. Because I lack patience. Not, not that I lack it, but I'm impulsive. And I need to take the time to just breathe and think first. That's Sarah for you. You know. Um, anyway, so let's see what this says. Turquoise has, this is very heavy, has long been considered a master healer and to assist the absorption, absorption of nutrients while strengthening the immune system and stimulating tissue regeneration. Wow. Black lava beads is an igneous volcanic rock that is basically molten lava that is solidified under intense pressure and heat. It is a stone of strength, fire, passion, and courage that brings stability throughout changes in your life. It helps you to harness the power of the fire within. Lava beans are porous and can even absorbs the oil of your choice. So it says just a drop or two of essential oil to the black lava beans. The scent will last a day, if not more. You can use any of your favorite essential oils. So yeah, this has lasted at least two days. I'm going to put a little drop of that um, rosemary right on here just to get a good... Actually, just going to use a baby wipe. So there you have it. That's what I got in my Eden's, um, not Eden's Garden, Mindful Souls box. Um, I love it. I'm very happy. I think the quality is really nice. So, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six things for $36. I think that's pretty cool. So this I might just hang in my little, should I show you guys my little, I might show you my little altar. Um, but I got, let's see what this smells like. Oh, I like that. I'm going to put it right on. See, I have, I have my white watch band on. That's why I like that. Um, I think I want to put this right on my laptop. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, my quartz crystal. My lotus flower pendant. Yeah, like nothing, it's not sterling silver or anything. And then this I did get today, which I just, I didn't open it yet. But I did just get these, and I didn't know. Like, I should have known before I got... Like, I should just let my boxes come. So throughout the year, but this is another piece of rose quartz. And I want to um, get a clear quartz one. I think I'm going to get a clear. And this is uh, amethyst. These are the three main quartzes. This and clear quartz. But see how this is just a subtle pink. And this is a little pinker. So I am just... I'm going to collect a few things. I love collecting. I've always been a collector. And the smaller, the better. I love collecting little things so that, you know. But anywho, you guys, I think I'll take you up and give you a little, just a glance at my little space. All right? I'll be right back. All right. This is behind my bed. So these are three of my favorite mandalas that I wood burned. And they have... I've been adding the white, the gold, and the shading with, um, I guess, burnt umber. But I have my little hamster hand there in the middle, and that's the one I just had downstairs. And um, those uh, dream catchers are made on the Glowforge. I made those on the Glowforge, so that's like behind my bed. That's the wall above my bed, I should say. So, all right, and Jenny sees someone across the street, but I'm going to turn it off, and I'll be right back. I'll be at my desk. All right, so this is my desk in my bedroom. So 
when I went to school, oh, it's been whew, 10 years ago, but anyway, this is my first mosaic that I did with like real glass and stuff, and I went huge. I mean, that's huge. Look, that's a desk, and that's the width of the desk. But anyway, that was my first one. I start big. But anyway, so this is my desk, and as I move closer, I'll show you everything in detail. But that's what I consider like my little altar, I guess you'd call it. So I'm just going to slide my chair forward. And I'm going to try and set this down so I don't make you sick. So I have it on a little tripod. All right, so now I can kind of move over. So I have one of my polymer clay pieces that I love. And it's not really good lighting right now, but actually that doesn't look too bad. Um, and I'm every time, I, I mean, I look at this every day I sit here and I do my reading. So I see it every day and it makes me want to do polymer clay. So don't worry, you guys. I may do polymer clay again. Um, and I have ideas for like, I don't even want to tell you my ideas because I don't want someone to make it before me. <laughs> but I have these little crystals. So see the little sunshine crystal? That, remember I told you I've always collected small things, so that's what I mean. I have those. But there's my chakra little um, dream catcher that I made. I made it out of a little um, little canvas, and then I put the little bead dangles on there, and that's my little chakra dream catcher that I made. So that's here. And then if I pan down... See this little thing? This is called Wade. This is a collectible in England, and they're in the tea bag collection from Ro Red Rose Tea. I got this one um, on eBay, though. But I have a couple crystal rocks in here. They're, they're rocks. This is clear quartz, amethyst. I think, oopsie. I think this is citrine, um, maybe jade and amethyst. Like I don't know what the meanings are of them right now. I'm just kind of... I just gathered up what I had and put them together and kind of brought them to this space. But then I did order a few things. Like I just ordered this little, it's a guardian angel, and this is called um, Tiger's Eye. I love angels, you guys. Like all throughout my house, there'll be angels, and I haven't painted them all or made them all. But I just, sometimes that, if I buy anything, it's an angel a lot of times. This was a gift, though. It's a pin. And I just loved it because it's like an abalone shell or something. It's an ocean stone, I think, like a tumbled, but it has, oh, anyway, my friend Bronca gave me that for Christmas this year, and she's in Al-Anon with me, and I love her so much, and so I just leave it right here on my um, bamboo. So that's my little bamboo. He's gotten really big since I had him in here. And what else do I have? Then I have another piece of crystal. Oops, sorry, I'm doing the wrong thing. I have another little crystal. This is to represent wisdom. My little owl, my crystal owl. Um, and then another uh, rose quartz, and this is new. I'll show you. Um, I got a bunch of all the chakra rocks I got um, in a set. So, And then this is just like a little incense burner thing that came with it, but I just keep it on there. And then here's my little Buddha frog. And before, so three years ago, he was literally in my garden. He was out by the pool. And so, you know, he's got, he's stained and dirty. But for now, he's my little altar, my little froggy altar, because um, Mother Earth is my, uh, the source of a lot of energy and things. And he represents that to me. I have a little turtle here. This is another, like, incense burner thing. I've never burned incense in it or anything. And then a butterfly. This is my hope, but it's a dragonfly actually. It says hope on it. So see, just little things that I love that make me feel happy and remind me um, to, to think of these things. But he has a little, this is another rose quartz um, bracelet, and this is a chakra bracelet that has all the, the stones of the chakra, and the lighting is terrible. Let me turn the light like this. There you go. That's my little reading light. And so he wears this necklace. Let me see if it's... I don't I don't know which way is. I think this way. So he just wears this necklace, and then I just put this one on him, too. And then he holds... I change these little sayings, or I put little prayers on there, or just something. So this one says, I pray for the serenity and guidance for the ability to keep the focus on myself and the moment. That's just going to keep me grounded and 
really always to remember I can only control myself. I can't control anything around me. And so if I just focus on that, I'm off to a good start. <laughs> so that is why that's there. And I have different ones. Like I have different ones all the time that I just put up here in his little hands to hold. And then this is like, I think it's like a chakra crystal tree. And this is just like a mandala that we burned on the, um, on the glow forge too that I just kind of use as a little trivet for him. It's like a trivet or a, it could be a cup holder, but um, I just put it, it on my little altar. And then of course I have a crystal home because I love home is my, my favorite, but I am gonna start to travel a lot more. <laughs> Not like travel, but I wanna go places. Ooh, there's a cross. So to, to represent my spiritual journey, I love my cross. It's, it matches my room. It has the blues and the pinks I love so much. And then there, there's some slogans from Al-Anon. Keep it simple. How important is it? Let it begin with me. This too shall pass. Live and let live and let go and let God. And then tissue box. That's just something I made a long time ago. And I have like uh, desk supply, like pens and pencils and stuff in there. But then this is all my, my books, like this is my Al-Anon book, and my notebooks, and my chakra book, and my notebook. So if something comes to me, I write it down in there. This is the box that a lot of those stones came in, and now I have pens and pencils in it. This is a pendulum. This is a, um, I think it's called lapis pendulum, but I just thought it was pretty. I don't think I'm going to buy many more things of... Um, this stuff I'm gonna let it come to me gradually this is called selenite and it's a cleansing stone and it's got a lot of flash to it but this is supposed to clear the energy from your stone so if you put it I was cleansing my my lapis I just put it on there um, these are all my Al-Anon books that I do my readings from every day and this is just junk I don't know I don't know what's in there this is my phone stand that it says, let it begin with me. That's an Al-Anon symbol, and I love it. I gave these as gifts to my people this Christmas that I made on the Glowforge, and that's it. And here's the stuff I just brought up with me from the uh, Mindful Souls box that I probably will add a couple things. I'll put them, I think I'll keep the rose quartz in here since this is the love room, although I want uh, love all throughout, so we'll see. But yeah, so that's it, you guys a little view into my little personal uh, space and I hope you like that alright you guys thanks for watching